hello and welcome to my youtube channel in today's video it's going to be a very exciting one and we're going to be making a line art on the sketchbook app so first of all we're going to open our sketchbook app and we'll get started basically sketchbook is just an app that lets you draw it is like the tools are really complicated like other softwares so so we're going to get started on the app so the first thing i'm going to do is that i'm just going to create a new canvas because i want canvas actually helps you with quality picture quality so the smaller the smaller the camera the lower the quality and the larger the camera the bigger the quality so that that's for the picture quality and i'm not really going to i'm not really going to stress or emphasize on the tools that Skate has to offer so what I'll simply do is that I'll leave a link in the description where you guys will follow and read about the tools that Sketchbook has to offer. And personally, I don't really know how to implement all the tools. Not everyone does that because I keep learning everything. I keep learning new things every time I open up the Sketchbook app. So today we're going to learn something entirely new. And let's get started. So first thing is that I'm, I'm going to change the canvas size canvas dimension from what I have here so I'm going to go to the top menu and go to new sketch and I can come to custom and custom the, the canvas dimension I need or I can simply come to others and choose from a variety of them here so since I want a specific type of canvas I'm going to just custom it here let's say Two thousand five hundred by two thousand five hundred, and that's simply going to give me a square because the two the dimensions are equal, and I'm only limited to twelve layers. So the larger the canvas size, the lower the layers you are given to draw, and the bigger the picture quality. So you can see that six point twenty five megapixels. So the quality is really really good so let's get started okay discard current sketch and you see it's giving me a square canvas so that's that now you know today's tutorial is going to be on making a clean and nice line art so we're going to use a reference for that and let's import our image scale that up a little I like to scale it up a little again all right we're good to go now the reason the reason the picture was really small at first at the first import sometimes you could import a picture and it will be bigger than your canvas and you have to scale it down but the reason it was really small at first because the canvas I'm using is really bigger than the picture so I have to now scale it to match what the canvas is or the size of the canvas and doing that will actually reduce the picture's quality if you look now you will see that the picture isn't really as sharp enough as the previous you could just try it you could experiment it yourself so that's that for quality you want to deliver clean quality to your client you have to put all of this in notes so the first thing to do is that let me just hide this picture quality this picture layer and i'll set up my brush first so i like using two brushes for line art that the fountain pen which I already selected and the inking pen here so since our brush is ready to go black is selected and the opacity of the brush is 100% so that it will be really thick and the quality will be clear so I'll delete this layer 
create a new layer on both my picture, above my picture layer. Now I use the opacity of the layer so that I can see it. I can see my brush stroke as well. It very well. And next thing I like to use it, I'll come to the tool and select edit two stroke. I basically really, really don't need this this tool, this feature, but as a novice or as a beginner, I feel that you really need this tool. Even expert to really recommend this tool too. Wow. Okay. So let's get started. So you like to let me just see the stroke and everything. Okay, I think it's better for it for for an outline for this particular picture. So that's like seven. So the brush size is seven. It's seven. I don't know where you need to put it for that. So I'm going to really zoom in and I'm going to draw from here to here. That's going to be my first stroke. So I'll remove those dots and try as much as I can to follow outline. And that's perfect as I want it to be. But something I'm noticing, I don't like the brush size is too big. So I'll just bring it down to like 6.5. Okay. And that's perfect. Go to the other side of the leg. And do the same thing. So you could just hide this layer. So that's good. Let's keep going. If you notice, I'm looking at the dark areas. I'm looking for the dark areas to make this, to use this look on, this brush size on. Dark areas. So I can use the brush size a little bit. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit so that the video won't be too long for you. So basically what I'm just doing is that I'm using the brush strokes to stress, well the brush to stress around my character. It's just a stress drawing, that's just what I'm doing. So tracing is like you tracing a reference. So I'm going to make a time lapse of me drawing so that you could still follow along and understand what I'm doing. So see you at the finish line.
right, so we are the finish line and everything is looking really good. So what one thing I'd like to point out point out is that if there's any stroke or any brush mark that you don't like, you could just go back and remove it and even notice when I was drawing the hair, the hair I made sure I was using the, the bigger strokes on the darker portion of the hair and I tend to reduce the strokes when I reached the part that was receiving more light. So you should put that to note too. But when you're drawing the hair, you try to make the darker areas with a larger brush stroke and you reduce the brush stroke when you are at the lighter area as you can see. So same thing I did for the beards. That side I used a larger brush brush strokes and the lighter side I used a smaller brush stroke. So that's the beauty of brush sizes. Brush sizes helps you to bring out the details in the drawings. And for the eye, I kind of changed it. I filled it with color and added some white to it. As you can see, I filled it with color. In the time lapse, it was it was not like this. It was different. So that's the change. The few changes I made. So to sum this tutorial up, I would like to give it a little background or kind of a special effects to it. I've added my final touches to this picture. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and comment your questions. I'll try my best to reply every question I see in the comment box. So thank you for 